US politicians just cannot stop hating on crypto. In fact, we got some leaked documents showing just how much they hate crypto and how much they're aligned on their talking points. And really just look, by now it's both gross and embarrassing what's happening in the USA with their stance toward crypto. Also, Bitcoin miners are selling, major market makers are jumping ship, fleeing the USA. False alarm also spooked jittery investors seeing a bit of a quick sell-off today. Just what the heck is happening in Bitcoin today? Well, let's dive in. And I want to actually start off with talking about the CPI data, which has just come in. This is the inflation data. It once again shows that inflation has come down. We keep falling, right? We're down from 5% down to 4.9%. But, but what is concerning here is that last month inflation fell by one freaking percent. This month only by 0.1%. While this beat expectations, because the expectations were saying that inflation would either be flat or rise slightly, so it's kind of good, but while it did beat expectations, it's still also kind of concerning, right? Because while we're seeing that inflation continuing down, it's just a small move, and that small move is probably not enough to really give markets the kind of optimism and certainty that we'd like to see happening. Remember, the Fed's target here is 2% inflation, and that they're going to do anything necessary to push it that low. You'll lose your job, you lose your house, the banks will collapse, all that kind of stuff. They're quite happy to do that. And we're still a long way from the 2% number. If inflation gets sticky here around 5%, then that is not great because we could see more interest rate hikes to combat that. Let me know in the comments section if you think that the Fed is actually going to get inflation down to 2% this year or not. Now let's talk about the absolutely ridiculous and the scandalous things being said about crypto in the USA right now. It's just an all-out crypto hate campaign. They're circling the ragons around the US dollar. President Biden tweeted more silly lies and misinformation about crypto, this time lying and saying there's some kind of magical tax loophole that exists for crypto. Loopholes that are worth apparently $18 billion in missed tax revenue. You see, the trouble with this statement though, not true. This has been noted, of course, in reply to this tweet from the community, virtual currency is treated as property in general tax principles are applicable to property transactions in the USA. So they apply to virtual currency as well. When investors sell virtual currency, they must pay tax on any capital gain that has happened, much like they would with property. There is no evidence of any loopholes to avoid this. More bad policy from the Biden administration, just like their proposed 30% Bitcoin mining tax. Then we had this gross leaked memo coming out. This was actually sent out to Democratic Party committee members. It contained talking points for them to repeat, right? coming from the central hive mind. The key point here being that they need to support the SEC without question except their authority. They also need to say that almost every cryptocurrency is a security. The official talking points, right? This is what they're pushing. They also needed to repeat that the SEC is protecting investors from harm, which is a complete freaking lie. All BS. The SEC has done nothing to protect investors from harm. In fact, they ignored the worst possible frauds in the industry. They cozied up with Sam Bankman Freed and with FTX, they all took money from them. They all took money from them. While at the same time, the SEC has gone after companies that are trying their best to play by the rules. Companies like Kraken, companies like Coinbase. They're criminalizing staking. It's insanity. They're basically making sure as well that US investors are not allowed to invest in pre-sales or in IPOs. They want to raise the accredited investor limits up to $10 million because too many people are getting rich, too many people are applicable now. The SEC exists to protect the bankers. It's a big joke. The political prostitutes have been bought off by the banks and they do what they're told when they're told to do it. The banking system, the Federal Reserve, heck, the dollar, it's all a big fat stinking Ponzi scheme run by criminal mafia bankers. And Bitcoin is exposing them, which is why the political prostitutes are being told to hate it. Smash thumbs up if you agree with all of that. Bitcoin, look, it's honest money. Crypto is actually empowering people. Crypto is giving people the tools they need to liberate themselves from crumbling fiat currencies and central bank insanity. And the political class hates it because fundamentally, they hate you. By the way, listen to this video from the asshat known as Brad Sherman, a political stooge. Definitely taking it from the bankers. Crypto bros make money literally by making money and they've made over a trillion dollars out of thin air. They'll accuse the US government of making money out of thin air. Maybe we do, but we're the US government. 
So did you catch that? When crypto companies innovate on money, oh, that's bad, that's bad. Crypto bros are bad, bro. When the US government prints money, when they debase your savings, when they destroy your economy, make you lose your job, all that fun kind of stuff, that's fine. They're the government. They're allowed to do that because they make the rules. Screw that, man. Now, before we get into the stories that are spooking the crypto market specifically this week, beyond all this macro craziness, if you are a trader and need yourself an account over on Bybit, it is the best place to be trading crypto futures. They've got a crazy spot altcoin market as well. Super popular copy trading. And as an exclusive bonus for you, when you start your account using the link down below in the description here, you can get up to $30,000 in deposit and trading bonuses as well as a free, yes, a free $1,000 trading position. Now that trading position, that's a limited time offer claimed exclusively with that link down below. Now let's discuss what has been spooking the cryptocurrency market this week. Well, today's rumors started spreading that the US government's 31,000 Bitcoin that they confiscated from Silk Road was on the move again, being sent to exchanges to be market sold and crash the markets, which, you know, it, it's super dumb that the market even reacted to this. The government already said, yes, we're going to be selling that Bitcoin in four lots over the rest of the year. They already sold one lot of the five they're planning. They have four more sales to go. And look, 31,000 Bitcoin is not even that much in the grand scheme of things. It's even less when you consider it's gonna be sold in four different lots. They're not gonna just smash market sell. They're gonna, you know, slowly disperse that into the market. And the market can easily absorb a few sales of like 8,000 Bitcoin. Perhaps a more worrying trend that we should be paying attention to is that miner outflows have actually reached an 11 month high. The last time the outflows from miners were this high was when Bitcoin dropped from 30,000 down to $19,000 in just a few days. But, do consider that this doesn't necessarily mean the Bitcoin is going to exchanges to be sold. It's simply flowing out of the miner addresses. One thing to keep in mind. Also, Bitcoin fees have been pretty damn insane recently. So miners are actually making much, much more than usual, giving them more profits, giving them more Bitcoin potentially send and take profits on. The next factor here is that Jane Street and Jump Capital are both exiting US markets due to fears regarding the SEC, which is pretty logical and wise on their part. Jump and Jane are major, major market makers for the cryptocurrency industry. And that does fit with the rumor that we heard the other day that a big market maker was selling. So yes, it seems that these huge players are actually packing up shop and moving their businesses abroad, or at least, you know, closing up the US portions of their divisions, right? Again, the SEC has failed everyone here. They're pushing businesses overseas. They continue to push major industry players out of the country. It's nuts. And look, let me show you this sweet, sweet hopium chart here. It's not all bad, guys. Bitcoin has hit its first stop, according to Titan Crypto here. Every time in the past the Bitcoin has closed above the 38.2% Fibonacci line, the bear market was officially over. Now, this is a monthly chart, by the way, and when we see this happen, then we can consider that the bear market is over. The bull market is entering its earliest phase, not the blow off top crazy part of the bull market, but the earliest phases. Remember all that day to day noise we hear in crypto, it can be deafening if you let it be. But the higher time frames, it can really reduce the noise when you start looking at it, which is why I like to talk about the weekly charts and the monthly charts because it's a better big perspective on what's going on. Oh, and this chart right here shows the supply of Bitcoin on exchanges. It's pretty crazy. It has not been this low since the top of the 2017 bull run. We have also been in a nonstop decline since March 2020. We've talked about peak Bitcoin supply on exchanges before. This is wild behavior. Remember, bear market ending, new bull market cycle beginning, Bitcoin on exchanges plummeting at levels, the low levels we haven't seen in years. The big picture for Bitcoin right now, it's pretty cool. It's pretty insane and I'm all about it. Okay, that's it, subscribe now, and I'll see you next time.